what the heck happened here, you might be asking. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about what to do when you stick welder when you stick a rod. Um, it's one of the first things you're going to experience. It's going to be frustrating, so we get to figure out how to get past it. Um, I will say first of all that the rod should be in good condition. The end of that rod should have uh, a nice bare exposed uh, steel and this particular rod has a light like flux coating over the tip of it uh, that will help it to get started but after that you won't have benefit of that. So you can strike the uh, rod and stick it anytime but if there's damage to the flux and you can see how easily that is to damage it uh, it's a lot easier for the rod to stick. So option number one is if it sticks is just to really aggressively uh, uh, pull that rod back and forth, right? Try to break it off. That will happen and it'll work sometimes. Uh, again, sometimes it won't. Um, sometimes you have to just literally unhook the electrode holder. Um, and, and keep in mind that the longer that this is connected, the more heat is generated in the rod and it will eventually glow orange like a toaster element. And you can try that at home on your own, but since I'm welding off a $130 uh, Amazon Deco welding machine. I'm not going to do that to this machine. But suffice it to say that the first option is to just aggressively try to break it free. So let's see what happens here. So she's stuck. And again, without hitting the camera, I can just snap it off. Now, the danger in that is that you may get arc strikes on your work. So if this was a production piece, I would not want to do that. I would want to disconnect the tongs. That will arc out my electrode holder. And again, it will eventually damage the electrode holder to the point where it has to be replaced. Um, but you will get, a, you also get a, a, a bright uh, arc, okay? So again, I'm gonna try this again. I'm welding a scrap, again, that bare end. You see how that's glowing orange? That bare end right there? So that's just gonna make it harder to strike. And my angles are all off because I'm, I'm welding under the camera right now, okay? So, if the rod sticks and you get that glowing orange end, uh, just let it cool for a second, right? So let's talk about what happens when you have a rod that sticks and afterwards you end up with all this damaged flux. So you, you break the rod off and you got like uh, a mountain of damaged end to that rod. Well, what do you do then? Well, you don't throw the rod out. What you want to do basically is find a piece of scrap. We're going to call the left end of this my scrap. And I'm going to burn that bad end off. So when I strike the arc, I'm going to have to immediately hold the arc long or else it'll just stick. And then I'm going to feed that rod in until the rod gets up to the point where it starts to burn normally. Then I'm going to plunge it into the puddle slightly, give a one Mississippi count, and then pull out. So again, strike the arc, hold it long, and you may have to do it several times. Real long arc, keep feeding it in until it starts to burn normal. Get it both there, plug it in, pull it out. By doing that, I've created this little cup at the end of the electrode. That I can break off lightly with my fingers, my gloves, or you can use the table, right? Just kind of give it a roll or give it a tap. That gives me a nice exposed end, which should start relatively easily. When you first get started, you're going to stick a lot of rods. Uh, just accept it as a part of learning. Don't get pissed off. Don't start yelling. Uh, that's not going to make it easier. And if the end of the rod has any color to it at all, if it's glowing, it's going to stick that much more easily. So, you know, don't just keep whacking at it. You're just being miserable for the sake of being miserable at that point. So let's see if this strikes right up. Well, it would have if I didn't stick it. So let's try that again. Again, push it in, pull up quick. Again, I have that little cup and exposed. I'm going to just roll that off with my fingertips. I hit the camera, I think, when I went to strike the arc. Or I hit my hand on something. Maybe it was the bench. So we'll try it again. And again, little strike. You try to that. Okay. So don't think that you can't reuse those electrodes, okay? Um, you should be reusing those even if they're only, you know, four inches long, you know, like this. Um, you just pick up where you left off and you keep going. You need to practice restart. 
So that's what you do if you stick a rod. Keep a piece of scrap handy and you'll, uh, you'll make good use of it, I promise.